Hello students, we had finished with the explanation of lesson 2, the magic of chemical reactions. Now we will go through the flow chart to review what we have done. Now what is change? We had studied that there are changes taking place in the surroundings. Now what type of changes are taking place in the surrounding? Obviously some new thing is formed, some new style of uh, the, the substance comes out. So that is called a change. This change can be of two types, physical and chemical. Now physical change, that means where the new substance is not formed, but there is a change in state, there is a change in form, there is a change in shape. Such type of changes can be physical change. And physical change means what I can observe, what you can observe. That is called a physical change. The change can be chemical change. Now chemical change involves the chemical reactions and this chemical reactions which we can't observe but we can see the change which happens after the chemical reaction has taken place. So we are going to see the two types physical change and chemical change. Now physical change can become chemical change but chemical change cannot become physical change that means Physical change is reversible, but chemical change is irreversible. Irreversible means once it has formed a new substance, the original substance cannot come back. So that is the meaning that it cannot become physical change. Now this chemical change is shown by chemical reactions. As I said, when two things, three things react together, then it is called as a chemical reaction. So this is shown by chemical reactions. This chemical reactions how to show on paper? I have to show on paper and then how will I show? That time I use the symbols and the formulas. When I know the formulas of various compounds and mixtures and elements, I can use those symbols and use these formulas to write the chemical equations. So chemical reactions are represented by chemical equations. Chemical reactions lead to chemical processes. There are various processes going on where chemical reactions are involved. Now what are these chemical processes? The chemical processes which we, are, have, we have learned in this lesson are of two types. Oxidation and reduction. Now what is oxidation? When there is a gain of oxygen or the loss of hydrogen. That reaction where there is a gain of oxygen and loss of hydrogen that is called as oxidation and just opposite of oxidation is reduction. When there is a gain of hydrogen but loss of oxygen that is called as reduction. So we are seeing so many changes around us but we have to identify which chemical processes are happening in that chemical reactions. It can be either oxidation or it can be either reduction. These chemical re uh, reactions are of various types also. We learnt various types of chemical reactions. The combination reaction where the two things combine to form one original product. There are not many products formed. So two reactants to give one product. That is called as combination reaction. Second one was decomposition reaction. As the word suggests decompose that means break down. So here the reactants is one but the products may be two or three. So that type of reaction where the reactant is one and because of heat, because of light, because of electricity, because of acid or base presence it can break down and that is called as decomposition reaction. Third one which we studied was displacement reaction. Now what is displace? When I move a thing out of its place and I bring a new one that is called as displacement. So displacement reaction happens between a metal and a compound. Now that metal will displace the metal of the compound only if it is more reactive than the metal in the compound. For example, iron nail can be put in copper sulphate solution. That copper sulphate was blue in color earlier but when I put an iron nail, iron is more reactive than copper and that so it displaces copper from copper sulphate 
puts itself in the copper place and forms iron sulfate. Such type of reaction is known as displacement reaction. Then we studied about double displacement reaction. It's same as displacement. Place is changed, but at a time two exchange of ions is taking place. That means two compounds are taken and these two compounds have the elements in them metals and non-metals. So these two metals are exchanging their places. That means in short exchange of ions is taking place in double displacement. Now in double displacement again there are two types. One is precipitation reaction. Many examples which we saw in double displacement the reactants are reacting, exchange of ions is taking place, but what about the products which is formed? One of the product form is in the solid state. That means it settles down and forms a precipitate. So a reaction which is also a double displacement reaction and it produces a precipitate, it is called as precipitation reaction. Then second type of double displacement can be neutralization reaction. Very simple example, when an acid reacts with a base, it forms salt and water and such type of reaction where neutralization or acid neutralizes bases or base neutralizes acid that is called as neutralization reaction. This is just a small concept which we studied in this chapter of say lesson 2. Here you have to see what type of questions can come. The questions can be 2 marks. 3 marks, 1 mark, 5 mark also and it depends what you have to learn in this chapter. You have to learn the outline of this concept and please practice all the reactions with their chemical balancing. Balancing is very important. If you are writing a chemical reaction or chemical equation but not balancing it, you are losing marks for it. So that is very important. You should know the types of chemical reactions taking place which is very important it comes for two mark questions very often.